uh, hello everyone, and here I'm with another uh, Lego Technic Robo Riders review for Throwback Thursday. And this one is on Power and Onyx. So we're gonna start off with the casters, like always. You can see the Lego Technic logos, picture of the set that comes within, and see the Robo Riders logo and their names. And what's interesting that, or which as you see, that is power is in the yellow color or as layer on bonicle went over to blue but whatever and then turn to the sides you see the age range set number and the amount of pieces and then top secret web codes which if you put these in the fridge or refrigerators then you would get an access code for our website which is no longer active or anything And then showing it in pieces and the casters and how to shoot the wheels and then list on, listing off all the other throw riders. So let's now to just one of the booklets being powers. Same pictures on the ca on his caster and everything. On the back showing all the like combiner models. So if you want to reference this or reference in building them, go ahead, pause the video right now. And then add for all of the bunch. And then the combination model instructions. You can get all the wheels. And then how to shoot the wheel. And then the last building step. So, so we're starting start out with Onyx. Oh, which, uh, hang on a sec. So we have Onyx here. Oh, which a black and gray color scheme. Which also kind of present with the first Onua in Bionicle. And so just like what Dust had is a like a robot head with a visor on it and his which says Onyx on it. And just like Dust and what you'll also see with Power is also have this big large uh, middle set part of it for it to do its uh, ducking, low riding feature, whatever you call it. So have this other slicer robot head that turns it to in raise and lower. And a little interesting fact is that with this one, his wheels of which glow in the dark. Just like how some slicer discs kind of did. We switch one wheel. And also just like what Frost had is this little kickstand area. They can turn up and then roll around. Well, without it, just tip over like that. So for his feature, can do that. Flip them out and then pull it back and let it fly. And there's the other wheel. But also a little interesting thing is to have this like technic doubling pieces, but also with the lightsaber rods coming out then to represent lasers again. So I guess this is probably like one of the only times they ever did it in the construction line, but yeah. And uh, I think that is it with Onyx. And on to power. So as you can see. Same jaffy piece, or same mid piece as Onyx and whatnot also did, but in yellow, which is very interesting. And also, he the only one with the uh, ball socket joint articulation, and only four points. Uh, the like, sh throwbot shoulder blade pieces with the system cones on them. And this, which design also used on the original uh, Tall Pahatu and Bonicle. And also, that was that. But unfortunately, no kickstand feature included with him. Or what 
I would often do is, if you like, get it to the lowest kind of it, get a three rod and connect it to that, and then he can stay on it. And so for one wheel of which, like that, and then to, and on to his main feature. And there's the other wheel. Well, these, the, actually, the wheels of which do come randomly in sorry, just like the uh, Kron and Krata and the Borox and Rakshis. Yeah, so something that went on into Bionicle, but also a little fact is in the instructions of which do tell you to put it in like that when you put it into the caster. And yeah, it's probably much better have it displayed out like that. Also, what I forgot to mention in the earlier segment is also you get this poster of the combiner model, which is legged and all, and also a lid piece for the for a shield, kind of cool. So a little different than the other combiners, in and also on the back of which, out for competition, Cyber Slam. And then Star Wars Technics, which I am also going to be reviewing for Throwback Thursday. And then older Technics apps. And now on to the final verdict. So the overall verdict is. These, I think, are a, pr a pretty good bunch, couple of Robo Riders. Like, do you get to have a combination model that, of which has legs rather than the than wheels like the other combiners and whatnot. But also, interesting that one comes with actual ball socket joint in it, and also glow in the dark wheels with one. And yeah. And that is about it with this video. And if you, if you still have all the Still have these. Hope you had some good memories of them. And yeah. So that is it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.